Summer vacations for football coaches isn't what you might think. After a grueling regular season, a bowl trip, recruiting, and spring ball, it's time for a break, right? Wrong. At Michigan, anyway, midsummer means football camp, where better than 1,200 kids show up and hone their skills under the watchful eyes of better than 120 college and high school coaches. And you guessed it, the Michigan football camp is run by the Michigan coaches. Wolverine defensive coordinator Lloyd Carr is the camp director, and he says although the camp is big, it's not impersonal. What we try to do is maintain uh, a, a player-coach ratio of, of right around 10 to 1. And uh, Coach Moeller, who ran the camp for a number of years, uh, that was the, the great thing that he implemented from the beginning. And uh, you can be as big as you want to be in terms of numbers as long as your player-coach ratio is low. And that's, uh, I think, the reason we've been able to maintain a high number of kids uh, year in and year out, because they do get a lot of individual coaching. The camp stresses fundamentals and fun, and the campers clearly enjoy the whole process. But Michigan also delivers another more important message during the one-week session. The thing that we want to do is to teach these kids the Michigan way, the, the things that have made Michigan uh, a great football program. We have a lot of our kids, uh, our players here, who talk to the campers and uh, trying to tell them uh, things like uh, the way you handle things on and off the field. Uh, Greg Harden does a tremendous job in terms of a drug program and, and um, teaching them about uh, the, the things that are going on in, in that area. And then, of course, uh, the field uh, experience is important in terms of the techniques and the fundamentals they're using. And uh, also in there, there's, there's ample time to have fun. We're trying, Jim, to, to expose as many of these kids as we can to uh, the opportunity to play college football at a lot of different levels. Every kid who comes to our camp, we're not going to recruit, but we have uh, over 50 college coaches from every level uh, and, and every uh, educational um, background. So we're trying to expose as many of these kids who have a desire to play college football to give them the opportunity to be exposed to those coaches. One of the interesting things about the Michigan football camp, it's not impersonal, one, even though they have that many kids at it, but two, the coaching staff, and you've been involved as the camp director in the past, benefits is almost as much as the kids on occasion. Well, I think it's a two-way street, Jim. You're exactly right. Number one, we get an opportunity to look at some kids, plus a lot of other coaches. As Lloyd indicated, we have 50 to 60 college coaches, and then again, that many high school coaches. So the kid gets to expose his talents to all the coaches, plus the coaches end up recruiting a lot of kids out of that camp. And, and it's a, it's a two-way street. And as Lloyd indicated, we want to keep the numbers down. The one thing I hate about camps, when I go to a camp and I see kids standing in line, you've got to keep them moving, you've got to keep them active. It's a win-win situation, obviously, at the University of Michigan.